news breaking this afternoon. Monday's wildland fire just north of Great Falls burned an estimated 16,000 acres. Cascade County officials say the fire may have been caused by three people who were shooting Tannerite exploding targets. Residents who were evacuated because of that fire were allowed back into their homes last night and they continue to deal with the aftermath. MTN's Elizabeth Transu has more. And I had seen some uh, smoke along the horizon over here a couple miles away. The smoke still lingers after Monday's fire. So we loaded up our uh, three dogs and the wife and we went into town. Stanley, just one of the many forced to evacuate. They didn't have to tell me to leave. I assumed it was the thing to do. It was uh, frightening. Leaving all his belongings to the fate of the fire. We did not have any. Uh, property damage. We were very lucky. Others not so lucky. There used to be a building standing here here that was I don't know how many thousands of dollars worth of stuff that was burnt up in that that belonged to me. It's hard to look at it. You work your whole life for you know to buy these toys and they're gone. And now the only thing left to do? Clean up the mess and start over. Reporting in Great Falls. This stuff can be replaced. Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. And another result of the fire, more than 1,300 customers went without power last night. Power has now been restored to all customers.